Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. To myself, what a wonderful So today's video is going to be an update to my candle project use it up i have been having this like rolling project pan basically trying to finish up a bunch of my candles i have a lot to update you on that i finished since the last update which was like mid-march and now we're almost to the end of april so i finished a lot of candles and then i have a lot to update you on with some new markings and yeah let's go ahead and get into it okay so behind me i actually have like a tray of all the ones i'm currently using but first, let's go through the ones that I finished. So the first one that I finished is actually Goose Creek's Pumpkin Pie from the fall of like 2020, I think. It took me such a long time to finish this one off, but you can see the progress here when I really focused on it, it was starting to move a lot. And then this is what I did from the last month to now, which was really only like two or three more burns and it burned all the way down, really great. Of course there was sooting, which there's always sooting with these Goose Creek jars. I've found, but this scent was really nice and I did enjoy it. And I would possibly pick it up in their soy blend. I think this is a, is this paraffin? What is this? I don't know what blend this is, but I would pick it up in their like little um, three wick jars instead of this one, but it was really yummy and I enjoyed it, but I'm happy to have it out of my collection because it had been in my collection for over two years. And that's, you know, I don't need to be doing that. The next one that I finished up that was also a little bit old is Pumpkin Donut Shop. This is from 2020, but I actually bought this one on Mercari in 2021 in the spring because I was missing it dearly. And this one, the scent notes are glazed donuts, warm pumpkin spices sprinkled with powdered sugar. It smells absolutely delicious. It's one of my favorite scents ever from Bath Body Works. It's basically just a like powdered sugar donut kind of scent, but I don't know, it just smells so good. And it burned really well, zero sitting, a little bit of schmutz stayed on the edges, but this is the progress I made from the last time. I pretty much only had one more burn on it, but burned really well, so good. I would say like a medium thrower, nothing crazy, but it smells delicious and totally is worth it. So if it comes out again um, in the fall, I'm definitely gonna pick one up. I already have a backup leftover from last fall, um, but if it comes out again this year, I'm gonna pick another one up. And the next thing that I finished off is actually whipped coffee. And I would burn those two together like in the mornings when I'm working from home. And scent notes on whipped coffee are a shot of espresso, whipped sweet cream, and sugar crystals. This one was really good, but this one did soot a ton, which I found most of the like coffee candles tend to scent, tend to soot a lot more. Um, but here's the progress I made from the last time we updated you. But yeah, this one's a really good candle. It did soot a lot, but I don't know, not much else you can talk, you can say about that, but it was like super caramel, uh, super caramely coffee. It wasn't quite like Paris Cafe coffee, but it was still pretty good. And then I have the tried and true champagne toast, which I put in um, having already used most of it. And then we had like two more burns and then the wicks had traveled on the last burn and scared the crap out of me. But this is such a good scent. It did sit quite a bit. Um, we had this going in our kitchen just to, like cancel out any smells after we would cook. So we used this pretty much every single night, if not every other night, and went through it really, really fast. Um, if you want the notes for champagne toast, it's bubbly champagne, bright berries, and juicy tangerine. It says it right there on the label, but just an amazing scent. You cannot go wrong. And the last candle that I finished since the update is Blackberry Creme Frosting from this past winter time. Pretty sure I got this at Candle Day. The scent notes are fresh blackberries, sweet vanilla topped with bubbly Prosecco. This one was also a little bit of a sitter, um, but I didn't really mind it. It was just like a nice fresh and fruity note. Definitely not winter at all, but good for people who just want like something fruity and they don't really want something super heavy wintry, but it was really nice and I definitely enjoyed it downstairs in our living room. It was just like nice to have something fresh going okay moving on to the candles that i'm currently using let's start with the single wicks so i have um stress relief eucalyptus spearmint and hello gorgeous pumpkin spice latte let's update you on pumpkin spice latte first so i did get quite a bit of use out of this one i've been burning it kind of in the mornings to set the mood for work um but it's not that strong because i work kind of downstairs in our open concept so it doesn't really throw that well down there, but I don't wanna burn it up in the bedroom. But here's the progress that I've made in the last month, and I just wanna to continue to use it. It's more for aesthetics than it is for the scent nowadays, um, but just working on getting this one finished up. 
I think in the future though, I am just gonna get single wicks only for the bedroom or the bathroom upstairs, um, just because I'm single wicks don't throw into my new house. Um, it's open concept on the sec on the middle floor, which is the living room, living area, and kitchen, and my office. And mostly, I've just been gravitating towards uh, three wicks there because they throw so well. Um, single wicks are good for the bedroom, but I have a wax warmer in here, so I don't burn single wicks that much. Um, so eucalyptus spearmint did not get a lot of use in the last month. Um, it was pretty much unused, and then I used it like maybe three times. Not a lot. So I definitely need to focus on it more, but I've just found that I've been liking um, burning or melting wax in here rather than burning candles. So I haven't burned this that much, but the nights that I do, I really do enjoy it. But yeah, here's the progress on eucalyptus spearmint. Not too much, but it's a brand new candle to my collection. I got it like a month ago. So I'm not in a rush to use it up, but I do just want to track it. The next thing, which I kind of should be in a rush to use up because it's a little older and it's from winter, is Peppermint Marshmallow Give Hope. And this one, this scent is really amazing. But like I said, I've been gravitating towards wax melting in my bedroom versus burning candles nowadays. And so I didn't get a lot of use out of it, but it actually looks on par with what I've been doing the past couple of months. So here's that progress there. Not too much left in this one, so I probably could finish it off before the next update, but it's a really great bedroom scent. My friend here on YouTube, Ashley Nicole, she loves peppermint scents in the bedroom, and I agree. It's like a very soft peppermint because of that marshmallow, and it's a super low throwing candle. Like I would say a three out of 10, but the scent is so beautiful that I kind of just sacrifice for it because it's just so yummy. So yeah, I think should I try and melt it on my, um, I have a candle crock. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to point. There we go. Right here. Should I put it on my candle crock to live out the rest of its life? I'm thinking I should. That's really good, a good idea. That way it'll throw a little better. I never, I don't think I've tried that with this one yet. So I think I will do that to finish this one off and then it'll probably be done within the next couple of weeks. The next one I have to update you guys on is coconut cream pie. I have been adoring this candle downstairs in the living room and it's just like the perfect mixture of bakery, caramel, sweet, coconutty goodness. Oh my gosh, it's so yummy. The scent notes are toasted coconut flakes, caramel custard, and golden pie crust. Um, Ryan, who is my boyfriend if you don't know, is also obsessed with the scent because when you come from upstairs to the downstairs second floor, so I live in a townhome, it's three stories tall, but when you come from the third floor down to the second and you smell this, it like wafts and it just, smells like I freshly like baked a pie or something. It smells delicious. It is so de delectable, okay? Um, but here's the progress I've made on it so far. Um, I have noticed the wicks sometimes like drowning, which I think it's just because these are like not the thick rope-like wicks that Tina Delicious talks about. Um, they're very skinny wicks. So they have drowned a few times and I had to relight them. Um, so it is giving me a bit of trouble, but worth it for the scent, honestly, I just really, adore this. It's so yummy. Another one in this collection is the Positively Sweet Dark Chocolate Truffle Scent. Um, Tina Delicious recommended this on their channel and so glad that they did because it is delicious. The notes are rich chocolate, gooey butterscotch, and candy cherry. It really is like dark chocolate cherries. It's so good. But again, my wicks have been drowning on this one which is kind of sad. Um, it doesn't actually look like it from here, but I'm gonna have to cotton ball it, I think, the next time I burn it, just because they were almost drowning last time, and I think they puttered, puttered themselves out, like they blew themselves out, but yeah. It's just such a good scent, though, and it has a really good throw. Like, I would say a seven, which, I don't know, I haven't really burned a lot of chocolate candles, but I don't think they're supposed to be super uh, high throwing, but yeah, it was really good. So I'm gonna continue using this one, and then I guess if it um, if the wicks drown and I can't save it, I'll just put it on the wax warmer and see how that goes. But yeah, also just pointing out like how beautiful was this packaging for Valentine's Day? They had the little glitter hearts on the packaging, and it's like holographic a bit. Oh god, this was just so pretty. Ugh. Okay. Anyways, enough bragging about that candle. Let's move on to the more like summer light candles. So the first one I have here is Blueberry Pie, which you guys know is a classic. I think it was last year, everybody was obsessed with it and they were like really sad. I think they, 
Okay, I think Blueberry Pie came out for the first time in 2019 or 2020. I cannot remember, but either way, it came out then, and then they didn't bring it out again until like the fall of last year or something, and everybody was really sad that it wasn't out yet, and they finally brought it back for summer of this year, and everybody was super excited. However, I don't think this one is as strong as the previous years have been. So the scent notes are Juicy Blueberries, Flaky Crust, and Sugar Crystals. I burned it. I think once like that's all the progress I got but it's honestly not super strong and it's not super blueberry which is sad because Ryan's favorite scent fragrance tasting thing is blueberries so I was thinking this would be really nice for him and I also just love this scent in general when I had it in the past years but it's not super strong and maybe it's just because that was like the first burn I don't know so I'm gonna keep testing it of course keep trying to use it up but yeah it did not burn crazy um, throwing like it used to I remember the one that I had I think last year was probably a nine in scent throw it was super strong like it would knock me out of my bedroom which was primarily where I was only burning candles in at my parents house but this one in the living room was a four maybe which is not strong so Kind of disappointed in that. I'll have to keep testing it out and seeing if it goes a little stronger, but that's blueberry pie. So it still has the same great scent, just not super strong. Okay, next is champagne margarita. I love this packaging color, just so gorgeous. The scent notes are sweet lime, champagne, and sugar cane. Let me go ahead and mark it on this one. Um, this one also has those thin wicks that mushroom out a lot, but this one is a very good throw. I would say a seven out of 10. Um, it, it smells so good. It literally smells just like a margarita. I don't know how they got that note down. They even got like the boozy tequila. It smells so good. And here's the progress I made on that. I think I burned it twice. Um, so not too much. I'm trying to finish off the other candles, like the older ones first. And then I'm going to start using these primarily summer ones. But oh, it smells so good. I am a little obsessed with it. So it's been treating me real nice. And I'm loving her so far. And the last candle that I have to update you guys on, I actually did not use it all. And that is Strawberry Daiquiri. It is still unused. I don't even think I've clipped the wicks. No, I haven't yet. Um, strawberry Daiquiri is frozen strawberries, sweet, simple syrup, shot of tropical rum, and zesty, zesty citrus swirl. No, zesty citrus twist. <laughs> it smells great. It smells really good. It kind of reminds me of Strawberry Swirl from Scentsy, actually. That's what that like candied, almost like jam-like strawberry scent tastes like to me, or smells like to me. Wow, it smells really good. I just have not gotten around to burning it yet, so I definitely need to get started on this one. Um, really, I'm not trying to finish this up super quickly, but I need to get started on my summer candles. Um, I don't know if I plan on buying candles for SAS. I definitely can but I need to be mindful because my favorite time of year to purchase candles, body care, anything is fall. My favorite time of year is the fall. I love purchasing stuff during fall and winter too. I do love winter scents and they have the best deals in the winter. And I will wear those scents all year round and I will burn those scents all year round. So I primarily buy the most in fall and winter and then I make up for it by using my collection in spring and summer and buying very little in spring and summer. So I'm not trying to buy a lot, but if I buy a few candles at SAS, that's fine. But yeah, I need to try and get my candle collection down to as small as it can be, like maybe like five total, um, which is asking a lot. Well, not that much, but kind of a lot um, because I just know that I'm gonna wanna buy a ton in fall and winter. And so just to prep myself, just because I know I'm gonna get super excited with all the fall releases that come out. And honestly, guys, they're gonna come out pretty soon. Um, I heard Bonnie talking about it, Queen of the Girl Geeks, on her channel the other day. She was like, yeah, guys, we got a Halloween preview in June of last year. I was like, yeah, we did. That was really weird. So I don't know when fall is going to actually come out, but I know that I'm going to kind of try to go light during summer SAS. I'm going to have to get Beach Night Summer Marshmallow just because I know I'm going to love it. I never got to try it when it was out originally but i just know i'm gonna love it so i'm definitely gonna pick that up but i think i'm gonna go very sparingly on sas if anything i'll get more minis in body care 
and maybe just a few candles. Um, but I just want to be mindful of that because I know I'm going to go crazy in fall and winter. And I just want to prep my collection for that. But anyways, that's totally off topic, but kind of on topic for having a candle project use it up, just being mindful about how much I'm using. And then also being mindful about how much I'm going to want to purchase at certain times of year. If you're also like me, or maybe you're not like me, you're the opposite. You love summer candles and you can burn summer candles all year round. Then you probably stock up at summer SAS and don't buy a lot in winter SAS. But anyways, that was just a little piece of mindfulness for you. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. That's everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, subscribe down below. Let me know what candles you are currently burning, what is in your summer rotation. Let me know and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.